Renfield. In the mid-20th 100 years, Transylvanian vampire Count Dracula met English attorney R. A. M. Renfield, who was wanting to facilitate an arrangement for some land yet wound up turning into Dracula's natural. For quite a long time, Renfield has depended on heavenly abilities that are started by eating bugs. Dracula has as of late had a near calamity with some vampire trackers who nearly killed him, so the pair moved to New Orleans to recover. There, Renfield finds a 12-step self-improvement gathering for people in mutually dependent connections, and he intends to utilize the group there to chase out oppressive darlings whom he can kill and provide for Dracula to devour without feeling regret. He follows an egotistical bow to a stockroom with taken drugs, and as he players some lower-level lawbreakers, they are undeniably gone after by a professional killer employed by the Lobo wrongdoing family who are driving medications into the city. Renfield kills the professional killer and endeavors to chase down the one who employed him, Teddy Lobo, yet Teddy drives off in a rush, and a debilitated Renfield hauls the carcasses back to Dracula's sanctuary in the storm cellar of a flimsy emergency clinic. Lobo runs into a restraint-designated spot that is controlled by Rebecca Quincy, a second-age cop who sees the valuable chance to take a significant level lawbreaker off the roads and captures Teddy after he speeds through the designated spot and throws blocks of cocaine at the police. At the police headquarters, Teddy effectively escapes authority since the federal authorities help out the Lobos. In the meantime, Quincy has a showdown with her sister Kate, who has likewise committed herself to police work yet is gathering an enormous scope case with the FBI, disappointing Rebecca, who needs answers and equity right away. Dracula lets Renfield know that the hoodlums he has brought as food are lacking, and the vampire wants the blood of somebody unadulterated and blameless all things considered. Renfield goes to a cafe to snatch normal people while Quincy is likewise driven there with pieces of information at the crime location. The two are trapped in an assault on Quincy's life that Teddy has been forced into making so the savage standing of the Lobos will be restored. All things considered, Renfield and Quincy safeguard themselves, killing a few gangsters and driving Teddy to get away. Teddy's mom, Bella Francesca, orders him to chase down the one who killed her infantrymen, and he winds up experiencing Dracula when Renfield is away. The two consent to shape a collusion while Renfield has acknowledged the lessons of his self-improvement gathering and chooses to make a life for himself separated from his lord. Setting up a loft and changing his disposition to one of supportiveness, he gives an assertion to the police to assist them with attempting to stop the Lobo wrongdoing family at long last. Dracula learns of Renfield's treachery and butchers the care group individuals before his previous follower. Quincy shows up and finds Renfield encompassed by dead bodies, making her capture him until she is promptly amassed by cops and the Lobos, who additionally need vengeance on Renfield. Quincy will not hand him over, and she scarcely escapes with Renfield. Quincy gets up the following morning to find that Renfield has saved her life, and he makes sense of his actual beginning while at the same time affirming that he needs to change himself. All the two battle through a gathering of degenerate cops and choose to storm the Lobos base camp, just to find that Dracula has engaged over about six gangsters to have Renfield's otherworldly capacities, including Teddy. After a battle, Renfield kills Teddy. Quincy heads to stop Dracula and observes that her sister is beaten to approach demise and just the mending properties of Dracula's blood can save her, which he will propose in return for Rebecca's unwaveringness. She deceives Dracula, prompting him having a last stalemate with Renfield and Quincy that finishes with the two teaming up to catch him in a supernatural circle. Renfield and Quincy beat Dracula into pieces, catch heaps of his mending blood, and split the pieces of his carcass into bits of substantial that they disperse across the water framework, either at last annihilating the vampire or if nothing else making it extremely difficult for him to change his body. Renfield later restores his self-improvement gathering companions with him feeling enabled to make another life for himself.